is up everybody, Zach here. Today we are going to the cabin. It's early, early in the morning, so let's do it. Oh, what's up everybody? It's a storm right now. It's sick. I got um, a tiny bait right here and then my um, topwater frog bait. I'm going to see if I can catch anything. I right, so just caught another fish off the square bill. No bass yet. I only brought a frog and square bill. I tried out the frog. It didn't work. Oh, here he is. These little fish are trying to eat these little square bills. Or well, I guess it could eat it. But um, right here, smallest one of the day. Don't. All right. Most hard fighting fish of the day. My camera's full. It's so wet. Right here. This guy fought so hard. I loved it. I watched him come up and eat it. Right here. Nice green sunfish. This guy's populate multiple times a year. So, their population is not down in this pond. And bass love to eat them. Right uh, here, giant. This is nice eating size. I've had like five more of these. Awesome. Got another green sunfish, guys. Bluegill. Sun, green sunfish right here beautiful colors green blue pink right there off the same bait this is the bait of the day guys this white um, strike king square bill right here catching them all no bass yet I was hoping I will catch some um, little bass but um, let's go ahead and release this guy oh gosh there he goes Awesome. When I was reeling in this bluegill, guys, something attacked it. I'm gonna go see if it attacks it again. I'm sure it was a catfish or a bass. It was pretty sick looking. Um, right here, I don't know if this is a red breast. No, this is definitely a green sunfish. These guys are eating good. They caught one scrawny, skinny, unhealthy fish. I feed these fish a lot with minnows at Gallo Creek. I didn't bring pliers either. I only brung two rods, and whatever was on those two rods, I was gonna use. I'm glad I brung this frog because it's catching fish. Now the frog isn't doing so well. I haven't got any bites off the frog. But I only took like 15 casts with it. So. I almost got him. Sorry, buddy. There we go. Right here. Guys. I'm going to see if something bites him. I'm going to just put him in my hand and see if I can catch a fish hand. Alright guys, so I have not caught nothing in like 20 minutes. I've tried the frog, right here, the leopard, leopard print frog right here. This is it. Leopard print frog. Caught some nice bass in this pond with that. And then I've tried this. I've caught a lot of fish off this today. This is the lure of the day right here, this tiny little um, Strike King um, square bill. I'm red eye shad color, but um, I think I'm gonna go up to the house, get another bait. Um, maybe like a soft plastic worm, maybe. I'm gonna go get a worm and my bait caster. Alright. Guys, yeah, so I got my bait caster right here. Got new grips on them. Pretty sick. And got my yum box and some worms. Let's go ahead and tie on one. That's the way I got tied up. My bait caster with a green pump in my favorite color. Sink it. Let's do this.
my gosh, guys. Sorry about the grass. I'm on the ground right now. I just caught my first, not my first, but another fish off the frog right here. You could see in the footage, fish were destroying this bait right here. My lucky frog right here. It's sinking, actually. I need to buy another one. It, it's waterlogged. So many fish I've caught off of it. But right here is the beast. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know what to say. It's this. It's a beautiful fish right there. It didn't choke it, no means, but it destroyed like five or six times. It's starting to rain. This is a chunk. All the bass are chunks. There is no skinny babies in here. There is babies, but they're all fat. Right here, oh my gosh. When this fat bass hit, I was shaking. I was just like, no, because I lost it once, but he came back if this is the same fish. Nice, is this a large mouth? Yes, this is a large mouth. Right here he is. I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple pictures. Can I get the drag out? Alright guys, um, beautiful fish right here. I, I caught it on, on uh, my GoPro too, that's awesome. Hmm. Guys, so that fish you just seen, I missed. It didn't come back. It's right here somewhere. It didn't come back. Then over there, I got it on film right at that pocket of the pool out there. I got another bite. I didn't get, I was filming, but the bass didn't bite it in my camera view. So um, so I just deleted that film, and he didn't come back and bite either. So um, I just deleted that. I'm not gonna even show that roll yet. But um, top part is blowing up right now. So I want to see if I can catch a couple more frog fish. On this leopard frog, I didn't bring no more frogs. You're all out of my cabin, right up there, about 100 yards that way. But um, this leopard print right here is doing good. But when something attacks it and brings it under, um, and I pull, I have to squirt water out of it because it has holes in it now. Because how many fish I've caught off of it? I'm gonna have to buy another one, but my favorite one's luck lucky. Yeah, so I told you, a little, a big bass bit right in this little pool right here. It's like. A little cut off from the rest of the pond and um, it will not bite the frog so I'm gonna try to switch over to the worm here's what happened guys I said I would go try the worm see if I can catch that bass off the worm bass has been caught off the worm <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't wacky rigging it either baby. Right here is another bass of the day off the worm. Second Texas rig worm. Right here. Oh god, sharp teeth. He's been feeding off some, what's you call it, um, minnows, hasn't he? Yeah. Look at those teeth on there. I want to have some bass on the show. Luke, Luke's going to miss out. This is another two and a half pounder. Awesome guys. Off the worm with these um it's just so fun catching these fish gosh he was rough pulling in too wow i'm just so happy right there i'm gonna eat you all right let me go ahead and get a picture open your mouth buddy guys so i'm switching up right now to a swim bait this little um minnow swim bait this is the bait i was talking about I thought it was pretty good when I bought it. It was it was like a dollar or two. And this thing has such bad ashing. It literally um, goes straight in the water. And it's, it throws well, but it literally does nothing. It just sits there. So I'm switching up to this swim bait right here. See if I can catch some lunkers. Of this. I've been catching lunkers all day. Guys, it's insane. I'm loving it. So I can catch some uh, more. Gosh, guys.
I bass this, devour this, do not hook me, oh my gosh. On the bottom, let me get my pliers. This guy was not going nowhere, but... Come on. There we go. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, wow. Throwing this swim bait for about 15 minutes. A butt here and there, but finally something destroyed it. Bro, you are hooked on the bottom of the lip, aren't you? Right down on the bottom of the lip right there. These pliers are used for nothing. Good for nothing. I have to get out of my hand. If you shake and get a hook in me. Yes. Baby. You destroyed my swim bait up pretty bad, but... Oh, I'm hooked. Okay, get a picture. Release this guy. Go ahead. Let's go fishing. Dang, fishing in the rain part two is so amazing. He's biting my thumb. I did not know I could catch a, a bass this small off a Texas rig. Oh, this is such a small bass. Right here, guys. <laughs> little, little, little guy. You grow up to be a big boy, like a 10 pounder. No, the biggest we've had in this pond was a six. That six will devour this. This is a cute little guy though. Little guy, see, large mouth. Yep, large mouth. There is spots in here. Little spotted bass. But um, this is sick guys, um, right here. Alright, let's go ahead and get a release on this guy. First catch of the day, guys. Right here. Little bluegill off the um, tiny bait right here. You probably can't see well. It's so rainy outside. But um, first bluegill right here. Let's go ahead and release them. Got another one, guys. Right here. Off the little square bill. Yeah. Junebug, my favorite, my second favorite bait. Ah, oh, he's hooked well. Second favorite color, um, what's it called? Um, Senko, right here. This guy is huge. Dang, his teeth are sharp too. Look at the belly of this guy. I don't think he's pregnant. But, um, dang, that's big, bro. Right here, this guy's probably at a, a half a pound, just as big as he is. I mean, that's giant. 
You want to take a picture? Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and release this guy. Good guy, Johnny. Live long and prosper. There he goes. Into the depths. Time to catch another one. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Nope. Oh. Oh. Off the June bug. Wow. Off the June bug, guys. Again, another June bug fish. Right there. Gonna take a picture of the June bug. Give me some line. Hi right, guys. Dude, I am What was that? Someone just shot something. Oh, there it goes again. Is that my mom? It's going to release this guy right here. Something's going on. Let's see if that's my mom or not. Goodbye, buddy. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Got another one, guys. It's off the frog. It's off the frog. Look at it. Got him. I'm just catching lunkers. Over this pond, at least. Right here. Oh man, this frog is ruined. Dang, I've caught so many fish. Focus. There we go. I've caught so many fish off this frog. I mean, it has so many holes in it. Right here. The other one, guys. Large mouth. I kiss you goodbye. Alright, I'm leaving for the day because I just heard gunshots go off very near. It's been feeding off fish. But, um, let's go ahead and take a picture with this guy. Get some slack out. So I can take a picture with the frog. Take him on. Okay. Alright guys, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. This is how I'm going to end off today with this beautiful bass. This is a giant. I'm going to go ahead and end him off with a slow motion. Alright guys, so this is the end of this video. I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.